So sometimes in life when you're going through something that I call like a spiritual awakening, awakening to life, and it doesn't even have to be something spiritual, but you're just not falling to all the BS around you through politics, through societal norms, through negative people, just all of that, you're kind of waking into what I call a fourth dimensional being. Well, in this video, we're gonna kind of talk about the evolution of Earth, and I'm super excited, and it's coming up right after this. Okay, here we go! What is up, you guys? Love and light. My name is Kel Preston. Welcome back to my channel, where I help people just believe in their self to manifest an abundant life. Um, I talk about what my higher self call themselves I am. I talk about the knowledge of appreciation and now the knowledge of trust, which we're going to be getting into that soon. But today we have a video through the knowledge of appreciation. I am brought this to me through meditation, which is really exciting. I am just sitting Buddha style in my chair. I was like, I want to make this video in my chair today. I don't even want to be standing up so super comfortable situation relaxed and let's just hop into this video so first and foremost I'm going to be referencing dimensional beings and so I think it's really important for me to explain from my perspective what I think that is because there's different perspectives I've looked at other perspectives this is the knowledge that I'm receiving receiving from my higher self so when I speak about dimensional beings I speak about it through the perspective of thought so, for example, a first dimensional being being a one-celled organism or a rock, there is one dimension of, think of it like a dot on a piece of paper, there's one dimension of where they can, what they can do, what they are, and the thought process of, of them. And so a second dimensional being being such as like domesticated animals, wild animals, flowers, they're kind of, they're second dimensional in the way that they think. You, a dog's not going to go walk to the beach and then with its paw write its name in the beach. Like it just, it doesn't do that. Um, they have a blueprint, same for flowers, and they go in that direction only. So you could think of it as a second dimensional being like on a piece of paper, being like a dot on a piece of paper. Let's say the dot's right here and then another dot there's only one way that they can kind of go, if that makes sense. That's the direction of their thinking. Um, with certain animals, I'm so sure like you can get them to do certain things, but it takes a lot of work. As for a third dimensional being, being us humans, so we're third dimensional. We are not as linear as second dimensional beings, so we can think in third dimensions. Think of it as a dot going to a dot, going to another dot, connecting back and forth. So it's kind of in the sense like a human, we kind of have free will, we kind of have more directions that we can go. And what I consider a fourth dimensional being is someone who is more enlightened, more awakened to higher consciousness. So you aren't really getting taken over by the illusion of Earth, and because Earth is an illusion, and you're not exactly following the societal norms, following the negativity of the planet and all the lower vibrations and you understand that there are higher consciousness levels out there and you start to witness them. You start to feel off, you start to feel not a part of society, you start to feel not a part of earth in general and it's because you're awakening to a higher level. Now, let me be very clear about this and I will probably mention it multiple times throughout this video. Us humans tend to think anything that's in a pyramid, anything that's in hierarchy, whatever is above is better than what is below. And that is not the case here. If a fourth dimensional being is no better than a first dimensional being, and so forth. A second dimensional being is no lower than a third, and a third is no higher than a first, if that makes sense. They are all necessary. And so that is kind of the basis and the premise of this video is that on my own journey, I am has brought to my attention the appreciation of being a fourth dimensional being. And you could consider yourself a fourth dimensional being as well if you feel that you're on your spiritual awakening in any way, shape, or form. You're awakened, you're not asleep. You're not asleep following the illusion of Earth, um, the norm of society, because you will feel very different from the rest of society. And this is where it can be almost a trap as a fourth dimensional being. In regards to that, you start feeling off, you start looking at humans around you and their ways of thinking and it's petty and it's just like minuscule to you who are going more towards oneness and love and see that contrast is necessary in life and just all these different things you you feel not exactly a part of society you feel as if you're on a higher conscious level it's as if you start to feel above others and arrogant and that was where i had to catch myself in it i felt like 
uh, I was this fourth dimensional being and I feel better than others and I don't really fit in with the thinking and the ways of others and I am brought to my attention everything that I'm teaching you guys and telling you guys about this that all dimensions are necessary. I don't know if you know, but you, your body, your physical body goes back into a first dimensional state. Um, when the spirit leaves the mind, because that's where the spirit lies in, is in our mind right here, um, it goes on into non-physical, which feels so good. <laughs> and you might say, Cal, how do you know the feeling of it if you have, if you have not had what's called, humans call the death experience? And it's through meditation, it's going through higher consciousness levels, it just feels really, really good when you're in the with when you're one with source and the oneness and the love. Anywho, um, when your body though, when you progress and your body is left behind, it is now at a first dimensional state. It has it's just like a rock, kind of like it cannot move, it cannot go and it, it, get what I'm saying. It, it, it's a, in a first dimensional state and your body then, because it's made out of energy and vibration, will start to rot and it will start to go into the soil and it, that soil will start going into plants and those plants will start going, getting eaten by others and perhaps you as a human will eat them and it's a cycle of life. So. I am brought that to my attention that the cycle of life, everything through first dimension until the twelfth dimension is necessary and there is no hierarchy through any of it. Um, much like contrast in this world of polarity of earth, it is law, it is all necessary and when you can appreciate that, when you can appreciate someone who is a second dimensional being or a third dimensional being and you as a fourth dimensional being, when you can appreciate that and understand that you as a teacher can learn from them and them as a teacher you can learn, they can learn from you and um, it's just like this really really big process and so it was brought to my attention and when I was, when that was brought to my attention it was really just like an eye-opening thing because my vibration shifted instantly. I no longer felt uh, on a vibration of level 175 on the map of consciousness of pride. Instead, it was more of a vibration of willingness level 300 where I felt like, yes, I'm willing to learn this and accept this as law as is, that all is necessary and that I don't feel off anymore as a fourth dimensional being and I don't feel better than someone else who's having a step one moment because I have them too. I am a fourth dimensional being but I shift into third dimensions all the time. And that's another thing is that you that that's why they're all equal and they're not in a hierarchy level. One's a seventh dimensional being from seventh dimension and up is non-physical, it's spiritual realm. There's nothing physical there, which is difficult for us humans to perceive because we live in a third dimension of physicality. However, it's like they're not any better than us though and they are so eager to come to earth and to these physical bodies to witness it because there's so much to learn. There's another thing I am has brought to my attention of appreciate, the knowledge of appreciation. Be appreciative that you're here on this earth for it is so different than other dimensions and realms. It is so delicious to be able to touch and taste and see and hear and all of it. it, it it's just really appreciate all five senses and your sixth sense as well. Uh, there's one last thing if you've made it this far in the video that I actually was planning on speaking about at the beginning, um, but I didn't. Which is interesting but as a fourth dimensional being you start looking at earth as an illusion and it's interesting because we go through the educational process as a child the 12 years of that and then some of us fall to the trap at least i speak upon america's behalf of higher education and then get into debt and this 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 this, this and that and it's as if everything around us is just a business it's all about money and businesses and it's as a fourth dimensional being, you can sometimes start to feel off with this and think, when is the evolution of Earth gonna change? When is it gonna stop being about money and just business and more about the way of how we came about as a race, as a human race of love and light and oneness and loving our fellow man and it's we've evolved into this separateness of only focusing on our family and friends and we're such separation as a species, but I am has brought to my attention that we must evolve 
and through that evolution we must appreciate everything that is and we can definitely not be stuck in the past like that but be stuck in our present and if we are ever creating in our future that future must feel as in the present so it was just amazing what I am had brought to my attention and I wanted to share it with the rest of the world. And if you're still in this video, I'm excited. It's something I will talk about later, but I will also talk about in this video as well, is it's interesting that my sister, uh, the knowledge of appreciation was brought to me as well through this through I am. My sister had mentioned uh, there was a time, because I appreciate cockroaches, as gross as that might sound to some of you, um, I appreciate everything in this universe and I love it all as well. And the thing is, is that uh, there was a time when my sister, she, there was a bug. It wasn't a cockroach, but it was one of those bugs that are blind. I forgot what they're called, but they follow the light or something. I think they're blind though. But she was about to kill it and I stopped her and I said, no, don't do that. And um, I stopped myself and I said, wait, I apologize. Um, kill it, do what you want with it. This is your life, this is your journey, this is your free will, this is your choice. And she was very confused and she said, I don't understand, do you appreciate cockroaches as well? And I said, absolutely, I love them so much. And um, I'll go into a different video about why cockroaches are actually necessary and if they were non-existent, how our world would fall. However, I said, yes, I do. And she said, I don't understand though. You have love for these creatures that you don't want to kill. However, you hop in your car every day, which emits emissions and kills so many bugs. And that's where I told her, it is the difference of the intention, the emotional vibration. Uh, it is different. My intention of hopping into a car is from going from one destination to another. My intention is not to be killing off life. And so that is the difference between that as compared to not to judge her, but you who want to kill the bug to give the condition of yourself to feel good when you don't need to kill and take a life to feel good. And what's interesting is that she won't go and kill a human, yet she will kill a bug, yet they are so equal. And us as humans, it's all about being programmed, that you were programmed to think that it's okay to kill bugs, but it's not okay to kill humans, so that is why you do that. However, it's interesting to me because the intention behind getting in my car going from point A to point B is so different than me going into my car because I'm wanting to kill off bugs. Much as the intention is different from vibrating from pride or anger or fear and killing the bug from those levels of vibration as compared to mm. love, vibration of level 500 of protecting the life and not killing it. However, again, I am separate from anyone's thoughts or beliefs in the regards of their journey and their life. If they want to kill bugs, that's fine, but I will not do it. So yes, I will leave this video at that. Thank you all so much for tuning in <laughs> to I Am's Knowledge of Appreciation. And thank you so much. Definitely comment down below. I am excited to start building this community and just creating content that I truly believe in. So love and light to you all. Have a blessed day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!